kuleta hapa kuturuhusu tuja hapa ili tuongee na Kenya tuwaelezee yale sisi ambayo tunajua na yale ambao tunajaribu ili tusaidie wananchi ku, ku, kunufaisha maisha yao Kiswahili changu kimeishia hapo <laughs> I want to respond to something that I've heard the officer from KRE try to explain but he has uh, failed terribly because um, he was trying to explain why the government of Kenya under Kenya Kwanza government is expanding the tax base the tax base means they are trying to come up from the up the pyramid to the basic of the pyramid the down part of the pyramid where the majority of the people are who according to him have not been traditionally been paying tax but he's not telling us something what is the pressure of actually trying to tax everybody in this country where is the pressure coming from do you want to tell me or do they want to tell us that they have just realized that they need to tax everybody no the pressure is coming from the debts the foreign debts the public debts that the Kenya Kwanza government assumed that they would walk over and only realize along the way that they actually cannot be able to walk over now there's something that they are not telling us that all this mopping up of all manner of taxes you know last year we we we, we cried very loudly because you remember uh, some of us actually even uh, 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 rejected the finance bill uh, in, the, in the in the national assembly and uh, we thought that from the noise that we made last year uh, things would be better i mean the chest dumping of saying it must be done the finance bill is not going to be touched to a, to even to a, to a full stop you know and we are seeing the same attitudes and the same narratives mudomo tamu tamu bado inaendelea umesikia watu wakisema hapa kwa sababu kuna wale ambao bado hawajaelewa kwa nini wananchi wanalia wananchi hawali kwa sababu hiyo ni fashion wananchi wanalia kwa sababu wameguswa and, and and before i go there i want to refer to this constitution and by the way you forgot to say that i'm the chair of the committee that oversights the implementation of this constitution in the national assembly okay and i want to refer to this constitution which is the mother law mm -hmm. this constitution article 203 says this before we call, before we run to pay debts the foreign debts before we we run to uh, 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 pay back eurobonds and whatever else we've been running to do so that we can look nice in the eyes of international community we must allocate enough money to issues of national interest allocation of money to national interest mean areas of security which is our national interest areas of food security national interest areas of health education and environment have we done so no why today in parliament my colleague can tell you there were three groups coming to petition us oh we want money for clinic officers we want money for just the other day the jss teachers were on the road mm -hmm. and everybody else is complaining have we allocated sufficiently to those national areas before we run to pay the muzungu so I, I think the carry guys are not telling us. The government is not coming out clearly. Why the pressure? Why must we tax even almost eyebrows? Why are we taxing our, our hair wigs? Why are we taxing edible oil? Why are we taxing motor vehicle circulation taxes? Why are we collecting double levies? You know, levies that have already been collected in another sector, and now we are collecting again, for example, the eco tax. The eco tax is a duplication of another, of another act that already is pun punishing the manufacturing industry and then we bring another tax on top so we i want to call out the government of kenya unfortunately i can only call them out here because they have refused to listen they have refused to listen to debates in the national assembly they have refused to listen to experts that have spoken and written articles in this country that this constitution article 203 only allow us first to allocate money sufficiently and adequately to those areas of national interest. Thereafter, the surplus, we can now, any provision, and I'm reading, yeah. any provision that must be made in respect to the public debt and other national obligations. Okay. So that is the katiba. We made this katiba. I was part of those people who made this katiba in 2005. 
and we must align ourselves to this constitution. All right. So yes. this whole panic should stop. Yes. And our priority is not the, 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 the IMF. Our priority is the Wanjiko who is defined by this constitution, Article Number 1, as sovereign. That Wanjiko and Khadija is sovereign. We should not run to look like we are bowing to the IMF and abandoning Wajiko in the street, yeah. abandoning Khadija in the street. We must, must make sure Wanjiko and Khadija is okay, and then we pay the debts. Thank you. Uh,